again um, you're very welcome back to our craft series and um, I thought we might do a little table topper uh, this week now that we're edging that little bit closer to Christmas and you might be thinking of you know um, taking down your Christmas decorations or uh, decorating the house so I thought um, a table topper would be ideal for our series um, this week so actually we'll be working on this over two weeks and I have a lovely little quilt here um, it's called hugs and kisses and you can probably um, see why because it's made up of all these X's and O's and I thought that would be lovely um, um, sitting on the table for Christmas or just as a throw over your couch um, you can make it up in all these lovely Christmas fabrics um, that are out there there's lots of shops around the country patchwork shops selling beautiful Christmas fabrics so um, go on out there have a look see what you can get your hands on and uh, we might give making this um, little quilt a go so um, to start of course we need some fabric and uh, this is a great quilt because it uses um, what's called pre-cuts and uh, this fabric is pre-cut already cut into five inch squares um, when you buy these um, all the fabrics are beautifully coordinated um, this one is actually in a red and white so I've chosen a red and white theme for my table topper for Christmas you might like to go for a lovely green or even a lovely blue and white can be nice sometimes for Christmas as well that kind of snowy silvery um, feel to it but um, as I say you can buy these they normally come there's about 42 five inch squares in a pack for our quilt we're going to use 36 so we need 36 5 inch squares and then we also need um, two smaller squares for each charm um, square so we need 72 I think they're working out at two and a half inches and uh, this is a five inch square again all these measurements are in the country living magazine so you can refer back to the magazine for your measurements so how to make up the um, quilt top it's really easy. Wait till you see how quick this goes together. I'll go ahead and make up one block. And we so to do that, we take two of our small white squares and lay them down corner to corner on top of our red square or whatever color you may be working with. So I just um, literally, and we're going to sew corner to corner across the diagonal there to there. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to make up two of these. Now you can do this um, chain piece, your quilt, just pick up another square, add another corner, sew from corner to corner and you can do this with all um, um, of your 5 inch squares in one big long row. Um, it just helps you to get make your quilt an awful lot quicker, it's called chain piecing, you can see why. I'm just going to go to uh, make two pieces so you'll see exactly what I mean. So just imagine you have a big long string of these and we'll cut them apart. And now you need to add another corner, white corner square onto your large square. And again, we're going to sew from corner to corner. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, lay a white square on the other corner we're going to sew across the diagonal if you're not sure about that line you know and you're not just turn it over and finger press it and then you'll have that guide you'll be able to use that as a guide for your sewing line so So let's just cut these apart and I'm going to press them. I'm just going to go over to the ironing board, give them a good press. The same with the other one. And I'm going to take my scissors now and I'm going to trim back my seam to about a quarter of an inch. So just trim back your seam. Same on this one. Just 
to get rid of those. And then um, again, set your seam and then just fold your corner, your small corner away from the large corner. Again, do the same on the other side. That's one. Then just fold it back, press it away. Again, fold this one back and press it away. That's two. And I had made two earlier on where I had just sewn from corner to corner. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut these, my quarter inch seam back on these as well. Because we need um, four of these little squares to make up one block. So again, you can see I'm just cutting back a quarter of an inch. Get rid of these scraps. Set your seam. Then... Fold your small corner away, again on this side, that's three I think, again, fold it away, fold it away. So now we have four of these, we've made up four of these small squares, we'll go back to here and I'm just going to put these together so you can see exactly what I mean. So keep your white um, area in the centre, that one there. Here we are, and here we are. So you can see that's the O part of our um, uh, X's and O's quilt. Um, I have some uh, ones that I made up earlier here. So I'm just going to get rid of those for the moment. You can see how the block was made. And we're going to put three beside each other. That's one, two, and three. I just move these over a bit so you can get a better look. And that's the, 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 the top row of our quilt. I'll just um, show you again. You can compare and see where we're going. So there's uh, three blocks across and literally three blocks down. So you have nine all together. Nine blocks all together. And when you have those um, made up, just join them, you know, edge to edge here. So you have one row. Then you have your second row and your third row, and just sew all along your uh, seams across for your rows. And when we've that done, then we need to add our border. So I have a nice thin border there, it's about an inch. Again, all these measurements are in the magazine, and a thicker border I think that's about looks about four and a half inches. So we'll probably started with a five inch border, um, brought down to four and a half after we've taken in our side seams. So it's exactly the same size as your square. So when you have your um, blocks uh, made up, nine blocks all together, and you've sewn them, and you've added your first border and your second border, that's your quilt uh, top or your tabletop um, made. And next week we look at putting the three pieces together. And um, don't forget, this is made up with um, that lovely uh, five inch charm pack that you can buy in the shop. And then our little uh, two and a half inch squares. Now you probably need to cut these out yourself um, uh, if, if you want to go ahead and make the quilt or alternatively like me there were some lovely uh, pale white uh, uh, five inch squares in my pack so I literally just cut those in four and uh, they were a perfect size but this actually as I say works out at a five inch square and your smaller white squares are two and a half inches and um, just put them together like I showed you there earlier on and that will be our, our top made and next week we'll look at putting the three pieces together our top middle and back